Hello everyone, welcome in part 8 and this is the final last part. In this part I will quickly explain to you and show you how I created the ring, the separators between the glyphs and the glyphs itself. Also in the end of this video I promised I will have surprise for you so please stay till end and after surprise also I will talk a little bit about the future of Stargate project what I have in my mind and plan without further delay let's start Before I started modeling the ring, I did some small adjustments about the size and then I start uh, modeling the separators. Here as you can see I start modeling those separators. I did that quite fast and then when I finish uh, separators I use the array modifier with the empties so I could do uh, 39 copies in circle After I finish modeling the separators, uh, the same way I copied the ring, but this time 9 times, and then I joined those two models so they were as a one, one piece, one model. Here I start modeling the glyphs. Uh, the way I did that, it was I used the text, uh, the forms I found somewhere on the internet. Uh, don't ask me where, I don't remember. Uh, just type Stargate fonts or st Stargate glyphs, you should find something. And then you put this font to the text in Blender and you just type it all the signs, right? After you will have all the glyphs, then change them the change the fonts to the mesh and then you can extrude the mesh and i use later the decimate modifier to reduce amount of polygons also i use the circles so i could bend all the glyphs around the circle and i space them quite evenly and in the end so the glyphs could fit perfectly between separators I did this manually I placed every glyph or 39 glyphs to right position
Finally, in the end, when everything was ready and finished, it was just a matter of turning on modifiers so all the pieces are finally coming all together and you will see the final product on the screen right now, Stargate. After the whole model was ready, I UV unwrapped and created the textures, And but I will not show you this process because it uh, would take even more videos than, than now and to be honest, uh, after I finish modeling, I stop recording. I really hope you enjoyed those videos and we reached the end, so let's move to surprise. My gift for you guys because you survived with me so long time on Sketchfab. You can download the low poly version of this model for free. And also on Gumroad, you can download the blend files with high poly and low poly model plus the PBR textures. They are for free, you don't have to pay nothing. But if you love my work, please consider to support my channel and and my work. Links to the model you will find in the description below. And now let's talk a little bit about future and other Stargate projects I have in mind. In near future, but I don't know when, I would like to continue to model the iris for the Stargate and prepare video tutorial for that. And next one I would love to do is Kawush this effect when the gates are open. I would love to also prepare a video tutorial for that. Next thing what I'm thinking I would do is the I would model Stargates from Atlantis. After that I want model the DHD device for Stargates from SG-1 and Atlantis. And in the end, finally in the end I would love to model the Stargate from Stargate Universe. And that's my plans for the future and I hope I can finish this or at least make like half of this before end of this year. And meanwhile doing other projects not related to Stargate Universe at all. So if you like this video, please press like button and also share with your friends. Please consider to subscribe to my channel if you love my work and don't forget press the notification bell. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.